this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Good morning, William Beaver! Today in this episode, I'm going to be joined by William, and I'm also going to be joined by Fizzy Elephant, and finally, but not leastly, I'm going to be joined by Polly Ranger as well. We got, uh, yeah, the, uh, the the whole gang here. And the reason we're all here is because we are playing my brand new minigame called Pirate Plunder. But of course, before we do that, I need to have my brekkie. So let's go and nom 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 delicious. Um, that wasn't the most appetizing thing to look at while I was eating my breakfast. I will be honest, busy elephant, but... <laughs> Oh dear, let's uh, go grab uh, Barnaby, and uh, let's go to the uh, the love garden, of course, first, so I can announce uh, who it is that I'm going to be adding to it. And the person I'm adding to it today is... Kira! And the reason I'm adding Kira is because she made this homemade Stampy Cat costume, and you can see she made the, the mask, and she's got the full costume, and she's even got Stampy-style boots and uh, and um, poor kitten paw gloves as well. And I love those extra details. I think mean, the costume looks absolutely amazing, so I want to say thank you so much for making it, and welcome to my love garden. Okay then, so let's go to uh, a quick stop to the, uh, the, the doghouse uh, to choose who the... Um, uh, the doggy companion uh, we're going to have to today is. And uh, yeah, then we're going to be plundering gold all episode. And I am really looking forward to, to this game uh, just to see how it's going to turn out. You know, I have no idea uh, what the uh, the game's going to be like to, to play. I reckon, though, it's going to be a fun one. I have I have a, a strong, confident feeling that this is going to be uh, one of my more fun and most intense mini games. And uh, it looks like uh, it looks like Fizzy has decided that Sherbet's going to join. I guess Sherbet uh, might be Fizzy's favorite dog. So that's going to be my companion. But where do where did Barnaby get to? There we go, Barnaby. You can sit down here with the uh, yeah the the rest of the the wolf pack. And all we need to do now is go down to the the, the teleporter, which is conveniently right next to, to where the the game is. So he's going to spend no time traveling there. We're just going to teleport straight there, and then we can go and begin the the game. And uh, are you playing hide and seek? You're playing like peekaboo then, <laughs> round the corner peekaboo. All <laughs> uh, right then, let's go and uh, head down to the uh, the the teleporter. And uh, yeah, I'll explain briefly how the the game works when we get there. Like if you saw the the last few episodes, you should pretty much know. And I haven't really changed anything. We pretty much got the, the entire thing done in the last episode, which is pretty rare. It's actually uh, pretty rare for me to, to completely finish building something in an episode, but we did it last episode. So uh, yeah, not too much has changed. So yeah, I'll see you all on the, the other side. Let's go and pull the lever and uh, press the button and go and head, head off to the Penland. Okay, then I think we should now have hopefully arrived at the, the Funland. So let's go and open the doors. You can come with me, Sherbert. And uh, yeah, this is the uh, this is the game. So as I said, we haven't really changed much since the last episode. Um, I think I tidied up the boat a little bit. I think I made the sails slightly shorter. So like, you know, my normal little tweaks that I do. And then of course, we've uh, added in all of these rocks here as well. We'd only uh, added in, I think, three of them uh, in the last episode. And then all of the, uh, the, the parkour, uh, we've kind of done all of this uh, around here as well. So now you can go boing. Boing, 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 and boing. There we go. <laughs> and jump across just like that. Uh, I'm going to go and sit Sherbet somewhere a little bit away because Minecraft dogs can be a little bit overprotective. And even though we are just playing a mini game, I don't want him charging into the, the middle of the game trying to attack anyone. So <laughs> Sherbet, you can go and uh, you can sit up on the uh, the, the top of the, the, the hill up here. Uh, Sherbet. Come on, Sherbert. Trust me, Sherbert. This is going to be the best view in the house. Front row seats to see all of the uh, the pirate plunder action. <laughs> all right, then. Let's uh, let's waste no time, then. So, uh, William Beaver uh, has uh, decided to, to be the uh, the shark first. So, and oh, it looks like looks like he's already in position. You are very eager. So you can see he has the the iron sword, and uh, he has the um. Uh, the the boots as well, uh, which allows him to, to swim really quickly. So he's going to be the shark, and then we all are allowed one boat each, and we can use it at any point we want in the round. We can use it as a distraction. We can use it to jump off, and of course we can use it to sail in, which is probably the the main way we're going to do this. You're listening very carefully, aren't you, Fizzy? Have, uh, do you understand all of the rules? <laughs> you know what we're doing, right? Good. So we have a two minute time limit in order to try and get as much gold from the middle as we can. So it uh, looks like uh, Williams in. Uh, position so we can start in three 
two, one, and go. So the timer has begun. So we need to try and pick our time carefully. So we need to work together. No, okay, you can go, Polly. You can go. He's right underneath us. Polly, you can go straight to the middle. Trust me, go straight to the middle island, Polly. Keep going, keep going. Oh, no, okay, stop, stop, stop. Go back. Go back, okay, okay. Go, 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 but you can go quick, okay? He's, he's approaching you now, but you've got plenty of time, okay? That was good. Right, don't take all of the gold, just in case. I'm going to take this as a, an opportunity to try and sell my boat over to, to this island. And I want to try and make sure I don't destroy my boat so then I can carry on using it uh, later on. I have no idea where William is. If anyone sees him, make sure you point him out to me. Just start pointing at him uh, so I'll know where he is. I don't know if he's under me. I'm scared to go in the water. And look at, oh no, where's my boat gone? I think my boat got destroyed. I oh, know, I think he's under me. I think, I think, I think I heard him breathing. Okay, so Polly, you can run to the boat. If you go to the, 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 the black boat now, you should be able to get there in time. And if we... Oh, he's chasing you. Okay, you can go, but you've got to go fast. Is he still... Okay, he's still chasing you. This is a chance for me to get to the middle. Oh, no, no. Polly. Oh, no. Polly was taken out. Sorry, Polly. Oh, I thought you had time. Right. We were able to get to the, the middle. Your sacrifice wasn't in vain because now uh, me and Fizzy are in the, the middle. Let's see if we can get any of this gold back. So the gold that's dropped under the water, that is now off limits. That's, uh, that's cursed gold. We're not allowed to touch it. But we've only got 40 seconds now. Tell you what, Fizzy. How about we both go in different directions? You go one way and I go in the other. Then at least one of us is going to get some gold back. Right, so you go to red, I'll go to black. We can begin in three, two, one, and go, 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 go. Let's just run and jump and hope I get lucky. Where is the shark? Where is the shark? I can't see him. He might. Oh, no, he's here. Oh, he's right there. I'm close, though. Can I get on the boat? I'm so close. Go on, get on, get on. No! <laughs> I was so close. I just needed to get up that ladder. <laughs> That was so unbelievably close. So there's still uh, a bit of time left, but uh, there's no time. Well, all of the gold's gone now anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So yeah, that's the, the end of the round. So all we need to do now is see how much gold Busy was able to, to get in that boat. And uh, that uh, is going to, uh, yeah, determine how many points William Beaver got. So he's going to get a lot of points because there's 27 gold. So we just need to see how much uh, Fizzy got and take that away from 27. So uh, let's go and... Uh, <laughs> looks like Fizzy wants a, a cow to join in on the, the game. So let's go and check the, the, the chest. So that's nine. Okay, so uh, that means... Um, uh, we, uh, he got 18 points, if I'm right. Yeah, so, uh, William Beaver, uh, got 18 points. So that is a unbelievably good score, especially, uh, for the, uh, the, the first ever round. That is, that is very, very good. So the bar has been set high. So let's make sure we all go and grab all of the, the gold and put it back in the, uh, the, the chest in the middle. And, uh, going up next is going to be Fizzy's turn to be the, the shark. So, uh, let's go and put all of this gold here. And where's the, where's the rest of the gold? Whoever's got the, the boots, they might want to help me. I think the rest of the gold is all just underneath this boat here from when me and Polly both died trying to get it in. I think this might be the, the cursed boat because uh, when we all went for, for this side, <laughs> everyone ended up getting taken out. And I can't actually see any of the uh, the, the gold in there. I don't know. Is there someone put it in here? Where's all the uh, the rest of the, the gold gone? Hopefully someone has it and uh, they can go and uh, put it in the, uh, the the middle. It's much slower for all of us to, to go and uh, get around the, the place <laughs> compared to, to everyone else. So uh, is all of the, the gold back in place. It is. And uh, I've got my stampy style boots back. And uh, Fizzy is uh, set up and ready to, to be the shark. So let's all go uh, back to a boat. And uh, yeah, we can uh, go and have the, uh, the the next round. So the score has been set. And it's a very uh, difficult score to, to beat, to be honest. I think that that might be the best score, but who knows? It was only the, the first round, uh, so there's still everything to, to play for. So it looks like I'm going to start on this side, and then we got Polly and William on the other side, and a cow as well, apparently. <laughs> and uh, Fizzy is ready in the in the, uh, the middle. So let's begin the, the second round, and we can begin in a three, two one and go so everyone make sure they have their their boat and let's see oh fizzy's coming to me it looks like a little bit i think fizzy's going really deep under the water it's hard to to tell from the the boat exactly where fizzy's gone so i'll be honest i have no idea where fizzy is it looked like he was swimming in my direction but i just literally can't see him at all. oh he's down in the middle he's in the middle but i think he's looking in my direction but uh don't take that for a <laughs> that's just my word so to what i'm gonna go and try and just bounce off my boat to try and get here really 
really, really quickly because I'm too scared to, to swim. And let's get up to the, the, the top so he can't reach me. Remember, he's not allowed to leave the water unless he's getting air from under any of these islands. And oh, looks like William's gone to a, a boat to try and head his way to the, the middle. It's a very risky pay. Oh no, he, where is he going to? William, he went too far. <laughs> You're supposed to go to the island. But there are like a few spare boats down here. Oh, there we go. Busy is directly underneath you, William. So don't try to, to leave yet. I might try and distract him. William, I'm going to try and distract him by sailing around on this boat. While I do that, you try and... um. You try and get away, so I'll let you know if he's chasing me, and uh, if you see him chasing me, then try and, uh, yeah, oh, he's getting me, he's getting me, run now, William, go now, go now, I might be able to survive, I might not be able to, go, go, get up, get up, get up, get up, I was able to survive, that's it, William, you need to try and get out there, oh, he's right behind you, William, he's right behind you, Polly, if you can grab that gold, you might be able to bring it back, we need to be quick, we've only got 39 seconds left, we need to go fast, so I reckon, Polly, grab all of that gold, and go one side, William, you grab your gold and go to the other one, so William, you go now. You go now, William. You go now. <laughs> I'm going to go and try and just jump into the fray and try and be a distraction. Even though I got no gold, I might be able to get him to go after me. You need to go. It's now or never, William, because you're just going to run out of time. Otherwise, you might as well just make an attempt to get it back to the, the boat. I'm going to try and distract him. You go now, William. Go. You've only got 15 seconds left. The shark is distracted by me. You go. Oh, no. He's going after you now. Can you get on the boat? If you get on the boat, you can still do it. No, he's got stuck. He was. He got stuck. And oh, no. He was taken out. And I believe that that's all the gold gone. But it's time up now anyway. Game over, everyone. Game over. I have no idea how much gold we were able to, to, to get uh, in that round. So let's go and uh, have a, a look. Uh, over on uh, on this side and I didn't I don't think we got any gold in that chest uh, but let's see uh, how much gold uh, Polly uh, got uh, in this chest over here so let's go and uh, have a bit of a check 15 so that's 15 gold that's uh once again that's uh, a pretty uh, a pretty good score for for fizzy elephant fizzy elephant uh turns out makes a a pretty good shark <laughs> so it's uh, gonna be 15 uh take away uh, 27. Uh, so that's going to be uh, 12 points, uh, I believe. So uh, yeah, once again, a, uh, a very good score. So it's uh, at the moment William Beaver with 18 and Fizzy with 12. So uh, let's go and uh, head back to the uh, the, the middle and uh, let's go and get all of the... Um uh, yeah, the, the gold back in, and the next round is the one I'm really looking forward to because this is the round where we're going to have the first ever Stampy Shark, and I'm going to go and uh, try and take out everyone. So uh, here are my boots. Thank you very much. Uh, let's go and uh, put these ones away, and I got my sword as well, and uh, let's try and gather up all of this gold. So I think the, the gold should be under the water somewhere there. I can't believe how close William Beaver was. I thought I was going to do a good distraction, but Fizzy wasn't fooled. Fizzy could tell that William Beaver was the uh, the, the real target uh, that he wanted to, to go up against. So let's go and uh, uh, get rid of this boat here because this shouldn't be in the, the game. And uh, is any of the, the gold down here? Oh, there's a, uh, there's a spare sword down here. I think this uh, this might be William Beaver's sword. So let's go and uh, uh, give that back to him. You can look after that. And uh, let's go and check in the uh, the, the middle uh, to make sure all of the, the gold is, uh, is back where it belongs. Let's go and uh, check the chest. And yep, it's all back there. So everyone can go and make their way to their, their boats. And oh, it looks like all three of them are starting from the same boat. That's totally in the rules. They can start however they want. I would assume that would make it harder, but I'm guessing that they have some sort of plan uh, to, to work together uh, in order to, to be able to... Um uh, yeah, win the, the round. So, uh, yeah, we're going to start the, the, the next round with me being the shark in three, two, one... And go. Right, the, the timer has started. So I'm not allowed to go on the, the surface at all. I can only breathe when I go to these little areas here. So let's go and uh, push forward. I'm going to try and stay deep uh, just so they can't see me. But it looks like they saw me because they immediately darted for that first island over there. Where's Fizzy? Oh, Fizzy went for that island. Oh, I probably could have got Fizzy. Oh, I can get Polly. I can get Polly if I can hit her. There we go. That was a good hit on Polly and I knocked her away. There we go. That is Polly taken out. But where is Fizzy? Is Fizzy on the boat? No, he's not on the boat. The boat was a distraction. Oh, Fizzy's still on the island, and William's going now. I need to get a little bit to, to breathe. This is a really good start for me. Let's go and try and take out William. Yes, I was able to take out William. And what's Fizzy going to do? Oh, Fizzy's trying to do the, the parkour, but he failed at the parkour, and I'm now going after Fizzy. This round is going amazing, and there we go. <laughs> I took all of them out, and all of that gold is safe and sound in the chest in the middle. That is 
Well, that was a, a perfect round, wasn't it? So that's 27 points for me. I can't believe it. I can't believe how well that went. Only about a minute had passed in the, the game before I was able to, to get them all. I think it was mainly because they all started from the same side. Because if they're on different sides, like I need to keep like my head on a swivel and keep turning around to see them. But because I knew they were all there... I think that's where what was able uh, to, to make it much easier. So uh, we still have one more round and Polly, your time has come. It's your go to try and be the, the, the shark. So uh, here is your uh, your sword. Uh, here are the uh, the shark boots. You can go into and wear them uh, as well. Uh, I've uh, got my boat and things. So yeah, uh, looks like, um, it looks like uh, everyone else has gone to that side. Well, William's on that side and Fizzy's on that side. So uh, I'll go and uh, I'll join Fizzy this time. Let's go and uh, make my way uh, over to, to Fizzy's side, and we can start together, and William can be on the, the other side. But of course, we all need to, to work to, together uh, in order to, to be able uh, to, to win the, the, the round uh, eventually. So uh, let's go, and uh, I got another boat on me here, uh, so we're ready to, to do that. It looks like Polly is in position, uh, being the, the shark down low. So let's begin the final round of Pirate Plunder in three two one and go right the timer has stopped we've only got two minutes so let's see it looks like she's i think she might be going to william's side for now oh no she's just circling she's looking at my side at the moment oh she's going to fizzy she's going to fizzy this is going to be my chance to to get to this first island here and it looks like william has gone to his first island as well so that's like step one done he is uh, she's right underneath you though fizzy she's now moving towards the middle so this is the, the risky time. It's hard for any of us to go. I mean, we could all just try going at the same time. Could be a good idea. Might not be a good idea. I'm not sure. It looks like she's it looks like she's getting some air now. I might try and be sneaky and just hope she doesn't see me and see if I can get to the middle. And yes, it worked. I was able to make my way to the middle. Right. I'm going to go for a risky play. I'm going to go and grab all of the gold. Okay. You guys be distractions. I'm going to go and try and get it back. Okay. So Fizzy and William, if you both go to the red side... Yeah, and then I'm just going to run to the red side. And let's see if I can get all of the gold back in one swoop, okay? So whenever you guys are ready, just kind of charge over there. Uh, maybe, tell you what, Fizzy, um, you can grab my boat if you want. Uh, you can go, I'll put the boat down and you sail away now. And I'm going to go and try and swim to the other side uh, if she tries to, to chase you. Let's make sure she does chase you. She's not coming. I can't see her. I don't, I, I don't know if she fell for the trap or not. Is she around there? If you guys just keep sailing around. Okay, it looks like she might be going in that side. So I'm going to go and try and swim on the, the other side if I can. Oh, she's going after Fizzy. It's worked. She's going after Fizzy. Right, if I can go and get back to this side. And I did it. And that is all of the gold safely put away inside of the chest. Which means we have got a perfect round. The first ever perfect round of pirate plunder. <laughs> it was pirate plunder perfect. That's what that round was. <laughs> right then let's go and um uh, yeah, we can go and leave the the, the game now. Uh, I'm gonna go and uh, I'm gonna go and get Sherbet because to be honest, <laughs> I feel a little bit sorry because Sherbet has been sitting up there the uh, the the entire game. Uh, but that's the the end of the round. So the uh, the final scores uh, in the order that we played the rounds are William Beaver got 18 points, Fizzy Elephant got 12 points, I was able to get 27 points, and sadly Polly didn't get any points. But I think that's just because of my amazing strategy that I came up with at the end. It was a risk. It was a risk. <laughs> There's a if it didn't work then i would have been the number one villain for suggesting it <laughs> but it was able to, to work and we were able to get all of the gold back i think this is definitely one of my favorite mini games that is so much fun to play it's so scary when you're you're swimming around and you just can't see where the shark is i don't think i've got any other games that are as intense as that moment and yay we can have cookies from a um from fizzy's little redstone contraption here which yeah just dispenses cookies <laughs> uh, anyway that is the uh, the end of uh, this episode here i want to say a very a big thank you uh, to William Beaver, Polly Reindeer, and Fizzy Elephant for joining me, and of course to Sherbet as well for, for being the referee and watching on the game so well. And of course, finally, a very big thank you to all of you for watching the episode, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!